In an ideal world where probability will work 100% of the time, regardless of the sample size, a sunflower rod that gives 10% chance to get plus one, an extra fish, will get you an additional 60 fishes per month if you fish every day. Hey, my fellow fake online friends, welcome to another video of Sunflower Land. My name is RV, and if you haven't already, in this video, I will show you how to catch all the basic fish and claim your sunflower rod. Before we start, I'll be super grateful if you can smash that like and subscribe buttons so that you can help me with my compulsive thought of, oh, come on, I'm doing all this YouTube stuff for nothing and it's a waste of time because nobody would appreciate it and I will end up as the biggest loser who's ever lived in the basement. <sighs> now, let's get started. The Sunflower Rod Sunflower rod is the easiest and the lowest hanging fruit of the entire fishing progression system. It is most likely a non-withdrawable boost utility item, it has no expiry date to craft, and will give you 10% chance of getting an extra fish. It's a no-brainer to claim the rod as early as you can so that you can already enjoy the buff while you're doing the rest of the fishing quest. The criteria to claim it is to catch all basic fish for at least once. The basic fish includes anchovy, butterfly fish, blowfish, clownfish, sea bass, seahorse, squid, and horse mackerel. If you still don't know how to fish, go check out my video on Catch the Kraken Season where I explain everything you need to know about fishing and composting. Horse mackerel, squid, and seahorse. The truth is, according to all the data that the community has put together, the only challenge you might have is to catch the two big bosses of the basic fish category. We're talking about the squid and the horse mackerel. Now when they are caught, these two will trigger the same fishing minigame for Kraken Tentacle and you will have to deplete its energy to successfully catch it. Unless the RNG favors you, these two types of fish will likely take more attempts than the other basic fish if you are an average luck person. Speaking for myself. So, because of the fact that you might discover some other fish while you are trying to catch the rarer ones, it would be more ideal to begin in the following order of descending difficulty. Horse mackerel as the rarest one, followed by squid and then seahorse. Now the data collected by the community suggests that the best chance to catch a horse mackerel is dust type for time, earthworm as bait, and blueberry as chum. For squid, you will have the best chance with dawn light as time, earthworm as bait, and eggplant as chum. As for seahorse, the best chance to get it is with dawn light plus earthworm plus seaweed. There you go, that's all you need. Surprisingly, it took me only 7 attempts to get the horse macro, but I've had to try 34 times in order to get the squid. I got a seahorse with only 9 attempts and also caught a sea bus in one of those 9 casts. Now some players have reported that they've got a squid on the third attempt. I hate some people. Let me know how many times you have tried until you have caught the horse macro and squid in the comment section below. Best of luck with that. All remaining basic types of fish. So, it seems like just like all the other basic fish, you can actually get a sea bass with an earthworm plus nearly any chum combination. Now, many have reported that they got it with don't like plus earthworm plus eggplant. But of course, if you are running out of eggplant at this point, you can try with seaweed, corn, blueberry, cabbage, or kale, or anything that you have stocked up abundantly. At this point, chances are you have already caught most of the basic fish while you attempt for the ones earlier. But just in case, here's what the community data suggests starting in the order of descending rarity. Clownfish seems common with earthworm plus eggplant or blueberry or cabbage. Blowfish with earthworm plus blueberry or eggplant or seaweed. Butterfly fish with earthworm plus blueberry or eggplant or sunflower. And of course, anchovy can be guaranteed with earthworm plus carrot. But again, you probably don't need to target for this specifically because they are the most common fish to be caught with any earthworm bait. But of course, you will notice a lot of people got their basic fish with eggplant. That is probably because they're like me and they got them while they're trying to catch a squid too. So, lots of eggplants. Now please note 
that this data was contributed by the community, they are not the official cheat sheet. Although I can testify that they are quite accurate based on my opinion, but please be your own judge for that. Having said that, if you have done it right, you should be able to claim your sunflower rod in less than a week of fishing. If you choose to complete the catch 300 fish quest by spamming guaranteed anchovy combo during fish frenzy or full moon, remember to save some earthworms for that too. Lastly, I want to thank sfl.world for some of the data mentioned in this video. I'm just a medium to send a message and these guys are doing the real work. I'll place the link of sfl.world down below so you can check out the data yourself as well. Now look, if you find video like this helpful and do not want to miss out more Sunflower Land gameplay strategy and walkthrough contents like this, make sure that you turn on the notification, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.